Hello everyone, this is Zycox once more and welcome to my series Let's Play Prophecy of Pandora. Well, I'm saying this all the time. Do I actually need to say this anymore? I don't know, I'm not a YouTube veteran. <laughs> I'm not, and um, so, yes, we are quite powerful and it's not... Yes, we are quite powerful, so we need to look for some more challenging fights, I believe. I believe that it is time for us to look for some Jatu. And Yavin the Blade. Wow, you're fast. So let us look for some Jatu. And head to Avendor. And now, okay. Oh, Sigismund. Excuse me, Sir Commander, something. I need to tell you, Commander, I think I finally had my fill of fighting. My farm is going to hell back home, and I'd like to take up my plow again. What's past is past, and t it's time I moved on. I'll never have my Claire again, but she had a younger sister who may not be married yet. Okay, I thought you liked Sarah, you drunkard. You leave. Oh, Sigismund. Death cult, come at me. Don't run. And let's look out for any heretic party army because we do not want to in run into a surprise. And okay, let's help Baron Gaydon, I suppose. Quickly, run faster! I will get at least one kill. I will get one kill. I swear by Astrea, I will get one kill. No, stop it. Stop it, or I will friendly fire you. Oh. I will headshot you. Come on. Where the heck are you throwing your stuff? You are mine. Oh yes, I got my kill by Astrea. Justice is with me. One left and oh yes, very very far. On a horse, I do not have anything to throw anymore and Rogue Squire killed Heretic Magnus. Magnificent job. Thanks for your help stranger and but I'm not getting any relationship with Baron Gaiden unfortunately. But Sardion does like me a little bit more. Adonia, would you tell me some of the Mist Mountain clan's traditions and history? I know nothing of your people, and I would like to learn of them. I'm flattered at your interest in the Mist Mountain's clans, Anson, and would be most pleased to tell you of them. We have some interesting battle chants and epic poems. Oh, so they are having a very nice conversation. Anson is actually getting interested in the Mist Mountain clans. Heaven door. Oh, a good price for spice, I believe, and salt as well. And even flax, and they do actually have a lot of money. Where the hell did they get all that money? Yes. 
Yes. Reinforced crown. Very interesting. Now let's see. I have 10,000 actually. I could invest into. I could invest into. Uh, an enterprise now. What shall I do? I shall head to. Cinderfall, I believe. And we need to look out for any heretic army. I believe the heretic army has already been defeated. And brigands. Brigands, you are... Oh, a mysterious tree of witches roam the countryside with an army of followers. I believe that this is... Those are the three seers from the heretics who have spawned from the Mist Maya castle. Now, I wonder if... I can get any kills and I wonder if I can win this battle unscathed. And that's a squire with a lance. Nope, you won't lance any of my people. Stop him in his tracks. Wow, he hit me while swinging back. Get the horses! Wait, who are you swinging at? I'm not getting any kills! Really? I'm not getting any kills! Oh my gosh, I have too many rogue knights and adventurers! Everyone in for their own glory! Oh my gosh, look at this! Netherworld Charger! Wow, this is tough! This one's never going down! This is the toughest horse you can find in this game. And as you have seen, even my great hammer is pretty much useless against it. I am actually not keen to find out how many damage I would get from the horse charging my naked ass. There's also a Mist Mountain army and a Jatu army. Let's be careful. And Sarah the Fox has leveled up. I can give her a point in trainer, I suppose. Why am I raising her agility anyway? I forgot, I completely forgot. Now, I actually can use that to train a knight order later. But is Sarah the right choice? I do not know. Let's just stick with agility. And we need to... I will want to wait here a little bit because I do not want to be ambushed by... Bandits in town. It is quite dangerous... Doing that as a naked... Man. And I'm not having a good price on iron. Unfortunately.
let's go to rain and run and actually find the secret stash that I have been told about. Oh, I'm not getting a good price for tools, but let's just get rid of it anyway. the secret stash don't worry I do not need to look for it I know where it is I'm pretty sure you will find it pretty easy enough here it is the chest oh we are getting some nice things polished steel gauntlets a fine sarlion arming longsword and some better polished boots very nice No, I wonder who can I give this fine Sarlion armed longsword. And I believe that someone is in need of gloves and I believe yes it was Boadis who can use some polished steel gauntlets. And her Singalian death saber is actually very good. And I believe that Anson has a rather, yes, he only has a rusty sword and these polished boots I can give maybe to one of my riding companions. No, actually, they, they do not need that. Okay, Anson, you have made your case. You shall get your feet well protected as well. Armor, long composite bow, I can get another of these. And I will. And we can actually try to buy an enterprise in Ron. Squire Otis, I want to buy land. Oh, we have a negative relationship with Duke Alexis. So we cannot invest into Ron. Duke Alexis, is that you? Okay, let's try. Let's see if we can get a job. And the Kingdom of Sardion has declared war against the Empire. I believe that is our cue to be a mercenary. I felt the need useless talk my wife would be beside me. Oh my gosh, Duke Alexis, you are. You are an a hole. That was not very nice. So let's be off to Points Brook. And now we need to be careful. Oh, there is a Mist Mountain army nearby, and there they are. Wow, 723, they are definitely beyond us. This is a fine town, filled with handsome houses and prosperous burgers with a rich trade in furs. I have missed the snows of Barclay. I've grown to like snow here in Pendor, so now I enjoy crispy air and the feel of a cold day. The sound of snow crunching beneath my horse's hooves. My energies wane in warmer climes. It is a pleasure to ride in snow again. In Barclay as a child, I greatly enjoyed snowball fights. It snows rarely there, so a snowstorm is always especially went to us. Who's us? And oh, there's a Jatu army as well. This is crazy. Shall I risk... Running around in Pointsbrook? No, I shall not. It is dangerous at night. And I do not have anything to trade. Oh, somebody gets a new bow. Adonja. Adonja? Hmm. Hmm, they're actually 
there is not really a big difference although I'm still waiting for I'm still waiting for Cavera to actually level up someday too hopefully no I think Cavera is not doing a good job with at, or as an archer at the moment so I will take her short bow away and will move her to the infantry for now. We are 6-1. We need to be careful of tattoos. They are arguably faster than us. And oh there's another huge tattoo army. And somebody, oh Donovan, there's something to tell you. I heap I inform you that I'm severing our relationship. I have found alternative employment with one less soft on his man. Oh, okay. So Donovan is leaving too. Can I take on these two tribesmen? Come at me. Jatu. I have heard of your stories of raping women, killing Noldor, and just raiding about everything that comes near you. I will put an end to this. And oh, Lord Fossard is. He is trying to kill steal me. Oh my gosh, now I need to share my spoils with him. There's Cavera with her huge man opener. Really? I want to lure them into this river, that would be perfect. Since when are the Dachu such tactical genies? Hey you, sorry or night, out of my way. And Lord Fossard seems content to just order his lesser men to charge in. And now they are charging. And they do seem to have some very powerful cavalry. And oh my gosh, wow, he got taken out pretty fast. Which was well as well. I needed some time to get my all pike out and oh wow, this guy is a rogue knight. Yes, I got one. All piked into the face. But the horse did damage me as well. Come on, I will kill your horse. Oh, he's throwing stuff at me. No. No. Oh, he's the last one. Oh, no, he's not. But. Oh, wow. Actually, I intended to stop his horse dead, but okay. I guess I just impaled his sword, including the rider. Yes, that's what Power Strike 7 is for. Take that. Very nice, and I believe that the Pandor Light Bowman can be dismissed, and I will take a Mist Mountain Shaman, who he has recognized the Dawn there, and thinks that she is the next Mist Mountain hero that they need.
And this Larian Outrider seems to be interested in our little troop as well. And so I will take this Maiden Cavalry as well. I am getting a lot of costly troops, so I hopefully will be able to offset that little problem soon. How Burgeon. I do not think anyone needs this. Oh, strength 7. I think that may actually be good for Sarah the Fox. I'm sorry, I do like your Scarlet Nomad robe, but we are in a war and I think this is much better. Sell the hmm. balanced blunt steel pole hammer. Oh, this looks interesting. Bonus against shields and has weapon reach 165. And it does have a mix of swinging blunt damage plus thrust 28. Ah. Now I look silly with these arrows, so I will just sell them, this is stupid. And I believe I do not need this crossbow either. Hmm. Shall I get this pole hammer? I think I'm doing a good mix with my all pike and my great hammer at the moment. Marleons. So why don't I invest into an enterprise in Marleons? Quickly run, run to the guild master. Is this shield any good? Oh, it is. Yes. Do you have any job? Oh, another one of those. Okay, so we need to find some more bandits to fight and soon. But we can actually join Sarleon or the Empire in their battle but oh my since I actually bought, just bought an Enterprise in Sarleon I should I have to join Sarleon otherwise they will not otherwise my Enterprise will be sequestered Renegade Sarleon Knights come at me you fiends You renegade knights, I've heard of your misdeeds. Come and face me in fair battle, even though I outnumber you two to one. <laughs> ah, good. Just in time to test my steel. This way. Well, they do seem pretty confident still, and pretty evil as well.
they will be waiting for us again oh my gosh will this always be like this from now on the enemy just waiting for me to come to them Suspense, suspense. they are heavily armored and with lances this might I need to be careful not to get knocked out all pike out and oh no that was a failure and I missed and oh I miss again how am I doing this magnificent I keep missing me why am I having an all pike if no one's charging me there is one Cavera got knocked out no all right um, I cannot take any more people in, which is quite a pity. A pity, and we have another Larian Outrider. Oh, they recognize each other, but this one seems to content to go back to his order and report of me. Hmm. I think that I will be in good graces with the Larian Outriders. And nope, not really anything great. But I do have a fine spear and I believe that someone, one of my archers was usually using a spear, I believe. And Alyssa, our party smarty, is leveling up. Very nice. So, I will give her the fine spear. Or else she will have nothing to fight with in close combat. And she has good shields already, so I do not think we need to worry about that. And the Fana finally have some more things to throw. Now, where can I find... There's the Empire Army. But I am more interested in joining the... Sarleonese. Another tournament I'm not allowed to participate in. Very nice. Please keep your voice down, my friend. I was told some troubling news as a matter of personal trust. It's regarding the Noldor. I came across a rumor from a traveling merchant. Ah, yes, it was two days ago in the afternoon when he was moving inventory onto his wagon. He heard a trader say that the Noldor resent the fact that they have to sell their goods to humans. They think their crafts are too good for our kind, I guess. Oh, okay. Quickfan did not tell me that. But, okay, I believe this video has went on for a while and I think it is a good time to end this video now and look for a chance to join 
either the Empire or Sarleon in the next time. Thank you for watching, bye bye.